Good day, everybody. My name is Sires. On this video, I'm going to show you how you can be able to develop a Chrome extension weather app using Python and Pascal. So, on our last video, I showed you how you can be able to develop a Chrome extension using Python and Pascal. So, now this is one of the end results that I actually built using Python and by, by, uh, by scripts in within a Chrome extension web app. So, let's allow it to load and then we'll see the end result. Um, Okay, this is the end result. This is our clock extension, and you can see it's changed the loading speed, the temperature, or the movement of the cloud, and then the location, and then the time. So this is our Chrome extension web app. So let me now explain the code to you. So now this is the code. Remember the last time I showed you how you can work with Chrome extension. Uh, how you can actually develop your Chrome extension using PyScript and Python. So now. If you look at our last video, you see how you can actually set it. I will leave the link to the last video below. And then this is our index.py and index.html, sorry, index.html. And then this is where we'll do our HTML and um, tag and the way we'll build our own HTML. We are using Bootstrap to make everything seamless, snip, and then build everything so that it will be easier for us to actually interact with. You know, instead of going to ahead and building CSS and making everything, we decide to just use and um, uh, to start to make everything as a full asset. And then this is our Bicescape pack. We are already pointing to our HTM, uh, our Python script here. This is our Bicescape pack. We are now pointing to it here, and then we are now making everything to work. So now. Let me explain, let me start from here and explain. Okay, this is where we are doing our importation. This is where we are doing our importation. We can use um, request um, this thing, request library on the web. They are saying that there are some protocols that we can make on the on the web. So we are now using this HTTP request tender, this library, in order for us to actually make the request. So now, we we'll now make the request here. We make the request here, we we'll now ask put our output and then use the output and then make use it to keep making the request to all our information that gets it. So for us to actually get the weather information of every anybody, so we need the person latitude and latitude. So now this is where we are now using Google and um, um, this is an IP to locate to actually locate the person latitude and latitude and then using it to feed our uh, open weather a uh, uh, open weather map, but then we now feed it to it, and then we now get to the weather information from it. Don't mind me, I didn't hide any of the IP address, uh, of the non IP address, the API keys, because I know it's free, so you can easily get yours, it's all difficult to get, so I don't know if this is needed for me to hide this. So after we have gotten the information, now we now supply the latitude and latitude here, and then we now supply it to our open weather then this same request and now we now get the information. So now this is where we got the time. We are not getting the time yet. So remember one thing that I'm doing here is there are so many different ways that you can output to the front end using Pascal. You can use print, print is working, you can use the split and then you can now use element. When I, I was reading it, I was trying to use display, but display was not actually working because they were saying that I needed to import it. So and this does not have any library that is called display python so it was difficult but if you are working with display on the pyscript.com interface the interface that they do that you can use to play around is working there but when i now brought my code here i noticed that it was not actually working it was doing an error telling me that display is not installed that i need to install it so i now switched to element id so i was not getting my elements by id and then this is the IDs of the HTML that we are working with. This is the time ID, this is the time, this is the keyboard. So everything, we are linking everything with IDs and then as putting the information to the front end. And then here is now where we are now doing our display parameters. Then this, we are linking everything that we need, the temperature, the location, the cloud information, always keep pressure and mobility. We are now getting all this information that are being supplied by open weather. So we are now linking everything up using their respective IDs and then displaying it on the front face. So this display is not actually working. So we think this display. So this is not where we run our main first one by day. 
Uh, with everything is working perfectly, and as you can see, we have tested it, and we can see that it's working perfectly, and it's very, very okay. And there are so many possibilities that we can build with this this new lab, the best kit that they have handed to us. There's so many possibilities that we can build with it. This is one of it. So um, I'm going to leave the link to the code below, the GitHub link to this code, but I'm going to leave it so that everybody can maybe have access to it. You can play around with it, maybe test your own this and I see how you can tweak it, maybe make it better. Even put a search, something like search location. Maybe somebody can easily put a location and then they will now search the location and you now pop up the weather, the weather focus on that particular location and then also give the current location uh, as well. Thank you for watching and God bless you. This is our final result. And I will leave the link to this below and then you can do as you want with it and then take it as you like. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. God bless you. Please leave a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel. Many more good shows are coming your way. Thank you. Have a good day.